It's time for the Drugless Doctor. Call our friend or family member now and let them benefit from today's exciting and life-changing program. If you want to lead a healthier life, the time is now. Hello, this is Dr. Bob, Dr. Anthony, and Dr. Kaysen Maria with another episode of The Drugless Doctor. Do you know one of the leading causes of death is in America today? It's heart health. Do you know a quarter of a million times the very first symptom of a heart attack as people grab their chest and the doorknob at the same time as they're falling to see their maker? In other words, instantaneous death, a quarter of a million times. So we're going to give you some strategies today that's going to help you create a wellness mindset to prevent that sudden heart attack. And if you have a family member that's had a stent put in them already and somebody that's already had open heart surgery, you maybe want to go back and watch this again because we don't want that to happen to you. So Dr. Anthony is going to start it off. We have a lot of wonderful information. So just like Dr. Bob was saying, one of the things that I think I want you to think about is does someone in your family have a history of heart disease? Does someone in your family currently take statin medication? Does someone in your family have a stint? Is someone in your family overweight? And, and this could also be you. These are all signs that you need to be aware of what's going on with your heart. So I want you to be able to ask those questions and figure out if you are at risk for heart disease. Now, one of the things that I always like to discuss is why is a group of chiropractors talking about heart? Well, one of the most important things for everybody to understand is how the body works. Brain sits in the skull and it is the master controller. It literally controls everything in our body. The brain continues as this yellow stuff called the spinal cord and the spine protects the spinal cord. Off of the spinal cord comes nerves. Now, the nerves that go to the heart, they originate about right here. Also, in the brain stem, it will control your heart rate as well. So it's really important that if you have misalignment in your spine, which as chiropractors we call subluxation, the brain's not sending the right messages to the heart, and your heart's not working at capacity. So it is, it is super important that someone has been checked by a chiropractor so the right messages can get sent to the heart. Now, another way to think about this is like a circuit breaker. How many of you have circuit breakers? Well, that's a silly question because if you live in a home in North America, there's a circuit breaker in your house. Well, what happens is if the circuit goes off to wherever there's power to that item, that item doesn't work. So if the power's off to the refrigerator in your house, the food spoils inside the refrigerator. So what do we have to do? We have to figure out where the switches are off help to turn them back on through adjustments. And what that does is that allows full expression of health to your body. So chiropractic care plays a vital role in heart health. So we have so many great strategies. And if any of those items that I mentioned earlier ring true for you, you're really not gonna wanna miss this. You probably wanna rewatch this again several times, whether you watch it on our social media page or YouTube or you're in our office. This is a great segment for you to be able to get more information about about how to have a healthy heart and how to keep it healthy. Dr. Kaysen, what do you got for us? Okay, so let's talk about the heart for a moment. So it, within the heart, this is like a machine. It's always pumping, and there are four different chambers inside the heart. Lots of different things can occur that could cause different body signals, specifically with the heart. So you might be thinking common body signals of a heart attack or cardiac arrest would be increased heart rate, heart palpitations, uh, lightheadedness, dizziness, shortness of breath, breath. Yes, these items here are body signals that could be occurring and we don't want you to ignore those signals. But we know as chiropractors and as Dr. Anthony was sharing, the nervous system, think of this like your internal wiring. This keeps everything flowing. Your brain sits in the skull, it travels down as the spinal cord. The nerves inside the cervical spine, inside the neck go directly to the heart. So if you have any kind of subluxation or misalignment, that's gonna be compromising heart function. We also know other factors could be impacting the heart. For example, from our experience, the culprits that we see are gluten, dairy, sugar, and also the incorrect oils in your body. And we have lots of different assessments in our office that we can assess your heart functionally 
to see if there's any kind of deficiencies or toxicities in your body. And from our experience, we've seen by, by working with the nervous system and incorporating nutrients, we're able to help to support someone's body. For example, just a couple of weeks ago when we were doing a reassessment with a, a young woman, when she first came into her office, she noticed that she was having heart palpitations. This is very common, especially in women with a lack of B vitamins, but also minerals in the body. We just did her reassessment and she's now not having any heart palpitations. And we incorporated specific chiropractic adjustments to the lower neck from chiropractic, her body is now functioning at a different level and she was having heart palpitations and now is not. We also have other assessments and Dr. Bob, I'm gonna have you share our acoustic cardiogram and other things that we can do to see inside the body what's really happening. I think what's really is intriguing, we're gonna have posted up for you right now the autonomic nervous system. So you'll be able to see exactly where the brain is and how the nerves go to the heart. So what Dr. Kaysen was talking about is that we have a tool in our practice called an acoustic cardiogram. And what I'm holding right now in my hand is a graph. And this graph, your heart, without being silly, goes lub-dub. Well, those are sound noises that we have an electronic stethoscope that could take those noises or that sound and translate it to mechanical energy. What I think what is so significant is the fact that as your heart contracts, it's caused by muscles pulling on the valves as they're closing. But what we have learned in our practice is that the graph itself could be wide, and that's a body signal that someone might need B vitamins. Now you might think to yourself, as Dr. Kaysen was talking about, how can gluten impact heart health? Well, gluten impacts heart health because what it does is it stops your body from absorbing minerals and we actually can see chatter on a graph. So we'll have individuals that'll come into our practice, have a wide span between the heart sounds or the heart sound itself, signal that they need B vitamins. One of the most common reasons not to have B vitamins is because of sugar. But something that we also have learned, and this is so significant, is that your liver is located right about here in your body. This liver would be analogous to the oil filter in your car. But I'm going to share with you a very common problem that we're seeing in our practice. The blood flows through your legs, up through your liver, on the way to your heart. So if this liver is compromised from eating sugar, eating fruit, taking a lot of different medications, the blood flow is impeded. If the blood flow is impeded, that means that it's being restricted and it's not going to the heart as uh, properly as it should be. Well, it shows up on the graph. It shows up as an extra hump. So if you're sitting in our practice right now, it would be very wise for you to maybe consider having an acoustic cardiogram. If you're watching us anywhere in the world, especially in northern Ohio, you may consider coming into our practice as a new practice member, especially if you have a history of heart challenges. So let me share something else with you. As chiropractors, and we have been so blessed, that what we have learned is that your spine, your nervous system, affects organs and tissues. Well, I talk about this in Dr. Bob's Drugless Guide to Balancing Female Hormones. These particular vertebrae right here are the ones that impact the gallbladder. Well, what happened to me is in back in around 1990 to 1994, I started noticing people coming into my practice that had little clips located right here in their abdomen little white clips, but they really aren't white, they're metal, they're titanium clips. So when somebody had their gallbladder out, what happened to them is they clipped the gallbladder ducts, showed up on the x-ray. Well, what I started to notice that these individuals started having their vertebrae were twisting towards the left when they had their gallbladder out. And you say, well, Dr. Bob, who cares if somebody had their gallbladder out? Well, you need to care because see your liver makes dish detergent. Not really, it makes bile. Bile emulsifies fat. So let's just say that you cook some chicken and you go to wash your hands. And as you're washing your hands, the chicken grease doesn't go away. So what do you do? You take your favorite dish detergent and you put it on there and it emulsifies it. So what I have learned over time is that people who have their gallbladder out, statistically from our practice, have a greater chance to have a heart attack. Say, it really? Yes, because see, I also know in our practice, people came into our office. Let's say we had this one particular gentleman 
1994, he had his gallbladder out. Four years later, he had heart surgery. How do I know? Because he has that chicken wire. There were the, it's not literally chicken wire, but they, they sewed his sternum up. It showed up on the x-ray. Well, here's what's going on. We don't see that anymore. Do you know why? Because Dr. Anthony said they put stents in people today. But I do know this. If your liver's not functioning optimally, and it shows up as that graph, and you had your gallbladder out, you have a potential to have heart challenges. And we have a protocol of a bovine bile, a product to thin the bile, and a product to help squeeze the liver for optimal liver function. So what we have learned, and we have so many other reasons you could have heart issues, that liver mechanism is critically important for long-term health, and I promise you right now, taking an aspirin a day is not gonna make any difference in your liver. Actually, it'll make your liver worse. Dr. Anthony. And we're gonna take a quick break after that, and we'll be right back. I'm a chiropractor because my, my goal, my passion is to help people get better without medication. There's different types of chiropractic. I wanted to be involved in something that was bigger than myself. Here I would say it's been so much more than just seeing those lives transform, it's been being able to be a part of their transformation. Wellness is a state of mental, social, and physical well-being. Really wellness is from the inside out being able to have your body make the decisions on its own, naturally, without drugs, medications, or, or surgeries. We work and strive at addressing each one of those different facets of wellness so that it's really a, a well-rounded overall approach for an individual. I think the atmosphere is really very welcoming. I think all three really work well together as a team. It's, it's much more than you would find somewhere else. The individuality of it, uh, the recommendations, the doctor's expertise. We do not use a cookie cutter plan. Every person that comes into our office is very unique and they have specific plans and treatment protocols specific for their findings. Utilizing our innovative tools and technology, we're able to get the best results and faster and it's really easy on, on the practice member, specifically with the thermal scans that we do by measuring the ambient skin temperature. We're able to measure from each assessment how the pattern's changing. We offer digital video fluoroscopy, motion films of a person's spine, getting right to the root cause. From someone that was previously diagnosed with ADHD and was having developmental delays in speech, working with them here and seeing the transformation of them developmentally, other things, attention span, energy, colic, all these things that are improving over a period of time. So whether it's a little baby that's getting adjusted for the first time or a mom that's getting adjusted or an athlete, it's really cool to see what we're able to do and how that can impact their life for the long term. The two things, chiropractic care and nutrition, go hand in hand and you really need both components. You can't just say, I'll do whatever I want nutritionally and then just have chiropractic care and Dr. Bob will just fix me. Really, you have to have both going together. In our wellness store, we offer a variety of different products. They're all professional lines and products that are tried and true. We have many different types of evaluations and assessments that can tell us what supplement is gonna be best for one of our practice members here in the office so that we're just not throwing the dice when it comes to their health. The Drugless Doctors is very forward thinking. It's a lot different than anything else that I had ever seen before. So I felt like I was learning something new. We have information on social media, our website, our blog. We do TV programs. So we're always putting out good quality information because more often than not I hear from somebody, I never knew that. Or I got that information from a magazine or a TV program and I never really knew that that wasn't correct. So being able to give them simple tools and natural principles that they can be able to empower themselves to make every day, that's really, it, it, it's really exciting for me to be able to see people in their changed lifestyles. Come and join us and participate with natural drugless chiropractic care. Hello, this is Dr. Bob, Dr. Anthony, and Dr. Kaysen DiMaria. We would like to welcome you back once again to another episode of The Drugless Doctor. 
We've been talking about heart health, and we've given you some very interesting strategies so far. How important the liver is, how important the spine is, how important the nervous system. Well, we have so much more to tell you, but I want you to know one little item. Margarine. For the last 30 or 40 years, they've been telling everybody that margarine is healthy and good for the heart. Well, as you know, over time, anything that is man-tampered is not good for you. I want you to eat eggs, not egg beaters. I want you to eat butter and not margarine. I had somebody that came into my office just this week. I can't believe it. She said, you mean I can't eat margarine anymore, Dr. Bob? And it's like, where have you been? You've been reading old Reader's Digest articles? Butter is better. Egg beaters. Egg beaters are plastic eggs and will do your heart more harm than good. God made eggs, didn't make egg beaters. Dr. Anthony. So there's another big issue when it comes to your heart, no pun intended, and that has to do with weight loss. I was having a conversation with somebody yesterday, and to his surprise, I was talking to him as someone gains weight, your heart actually gets larger because it has to work harder to, part, to pump blood through the body for the additional tissue that's there. So if someone loses weight, the heart doesn't have to work as hard to pump all of that extra blood through the tissue that's now gone. So if you're on a couch or on a chair and you have a couple pounds to lose or the person next to you does, you can elbow them and you say, he's talking to you because I want you to have a happy, healthy heart. And if you have a happy, healthy heart, you have a much greater chance of surviving and thriving in this life. So weight loss, something that's really, really important. And a part of what weight loss is, and we talk a lot about this with our food choices, it's getting rid of foods that cause inflammation Inflammation is probably one of the biggest culprits when it comes to heart disease. So if you're eating a diet that's inflammatory, you're always going to have a challenge. So one of the keys to weight loss, just one of them, have an anti-inflammatory diet. And the second is make sure to do some type of regular exercise. Dr. Kaysen, why don't you talk to us about exercise and heart health? When members come into our office, we have a lot of, I would say, tough conversations and the weight loss, um, just the weight loss goals of someone, you think, okay, I need to exercise, I need to watch what I'm eating, but also when it comes to exercise, you wanna make sure that you're exercising on a regular basis. And by this, I mean every single day you wanna be doing something, some kind of activity that's gonna be causing that extra pumping and stress to your body, which is excellent for your heart. If you remember in the beginning of our program, we talked about how it was a muscle and all those tendons and the movement of the fluid. If you're not having that proper motion and squeezing action of the heart, you're not having that blood flow through the rest of your body. Now, also with weight loss, we have done lots of studies with weight loss and we've actually written a peer-reviewed research article on this. It is on our website. If you were to go to druglistdrs.com, you'll see it on our website. It was the second largest weight loss study ever done within chiropractic care. It was a 10-week program and all of our members that participated, we did an initial assessment, a middle assessment, and an ending assessment. And every one of them, their HA1C improved. Now, for any of you out there, if you've never had an HA1C or a blood test done, this is the amount of, um, amount of sugar on your red blood cells within the last three months. This is a great marker to really see what are you consuming? And you might be consuming items right now that you don't even know that have sugar in them. One of the big things with oils, as Dr. Anthony was sharing, a lot of times when you're looking at different oils, they might not have on the packaging what's actually in them. And vegetable oil, canola oil, sunflower oil, and safflower oil, we found it causes inflammation in the body, especially items like packaged foods and salad dressings and That's right, inflammation. Th this is what happens in the body when you have inflammation it's fire in the body inflammation can cause a lot of different things to occur in your body whether it's heart challenges swelling in your body numbness and tingling in the legs and the feet i just had someone yesterday that she said that her numbness in her arms and her hands have gone away in the last months since she started focusing on green leafy vegetables and proteins and she thought she was eating really healthy and she was doing smoothies and juices and and fruits and all these things that the media tells you that you need to do for antioxidants and weight loss if you're following that pattern right now and you're not getting the results try doing proteins and vegetables only. Dr. Bob. Well, you know, there's so much we can talk to you about. What I'm holding in my hand right now happens to be a dipstick. 
and a dipstick for all of those that are a little bit mechanically inclined is what you put into the motor to check the motor oil. Well, in the human body, uh, what I would like to direct to you to now is flax oil. Flax oil is a healthy precursor for omega-3 fats, and the flax oil itself will help put that fire out. Well, we have the ability through science and innovative techniques that we can do what we call an essential fatty acid blood spot test, and there's something in the blood, test, test, blood spot test called EPA, which stands for Ecosa Pantanoic Acid. Well, EPA, we also talk about in Dr. Bob's Trans Fat Survival Guide, and I have the cover on the screen for you right now, because it's learning about fat. I briefly mentioned half-jokingly a little bit earlier about margarine and butter. Well, see, margarine is literally trans fat. Margarine will cause inflammation in the body. So what they had decided was good for the heart actually caused heart disease. So with that, if you have a history of poor heart health, and Dr. Kaysen mentioned safflower oil, sunflower oil, and corn oil, those oils cause inflammation in the body. And I, I almost hate to say this, but the scientific community has been wrong for so many years, and that's not even talking about cholesterol, which we have done a prior program on cholesterol. People die of heart attacks with cholesterol that's been artificially lowered by statin drugs. Dr. Anthony, I'm gonna throw it to you. Now, this is not a suppository. This is a model of a drug. Now, there's a lot of different heart medications that the American public has been, I would say, maybe deceived or not told the full truth about statin medications and high blood pressure medications because what ends up happening is you have a greater chance of developing type 2 diabetes, you have muscle wasting away, greater chance of having, having Alzheimer's disease, greater, greater chance of not being able to get and sustain an erection if you're on one of these types of pills. So if you're using a statin or a high blood pressure medication, the conversation I would encourage you to do with your prescribing provider is, Doc, how do I work on getting off of these medications? If you don't like the answers, I suggest trying to find somebody that does so that you can be proactive about your heart health because as we said at the very beginning, it's one of the number one killers in the United States of America and the world, so you wanna be proactive about having a healthy heart. Now let's just talk real quick about statin medication. So in 2008, there was a study that came out for a drug called Crestor. Crestor is a cholesterol medication, and what they ended up finding out was they were inflating the percentage of people that they thought would be, uh, their lives be saved as a part of taking Crestor, and it really wasn't an actual ratio, it was a relative ratio. So it was a very small number that received a benefit from taking Crestor. If you figure it out, for every 100 people that were on a statin medication for three years, only it saved one person's life, one out of 100. So to have all the side effects of taking these statin medications, I'd highly encourage you to be proactive about your heart health and some of these other measures that we were talking about. Dr. Kaysen, what's important for us to know about heart health? Okay, so with the action steps of how to prevent any kind of heart challenges, number one, let's go back to the beginning. You wanna make sure that you are getting your spine assessed. You wanna be looking at the, the brain and the nervous system and how is it truly functioning? Because we've had members in our office that overall heart function has improved with the chiropractic adjustment. Also, Dr. Bob was talking about healthy oils, and here we have our flax oil that we utilize in the office, which is a bio omega-3. We also use another product in our office, and this is specifically based on anchovy oil, and it is um, with this oil.